Hey guys, Conrad here with Rest UAV, also known as Ferrani. I'm Chris, also known as Tezak. And <clears throat> today we're introducing the Riot 250R Pro. This is going to be our almost ready to fly drone out of the box. Um, so what almost ready to fly means is the fact that all you need to do is put a receiver in, whether it be you know, Spectrum, FR Sky, PPM, install your receiver, plug in a battery, and you're up and flying. Um, there's a receiver in here now. Basically, when you take this out of the box, you zip off these six screws, take off the top plate, and uh, there's going to be some solder tabs if you're using a FreeSky receiver. And you just tack your receiver down, bind it up, and should be good to go. Everything's pre-configured out of the box, it's tuned, the motor directions are set, uh, there shouldn't be much you have to worry about. Who tuned that, by the way? I tuned it. You tuned it. Good too. <laughs> um, some pretty cool features with this guy. We've got the Runcam Swift CCD camera, which basically allows you to have good video in uh, low light conditions, overcast, flying under a tree. Um, you've got an integrated 200 milliwatt VTX, um, fully customizable through the sticks. You can do it all through the screen, set your channels. Um, you've got all the channels that are used in the regular racing or with your buddies. You've got a pit mode, um, which you hold this button down and the video transmitter is not transmitting. So you can basically change your settings, change your LEDs uh, without blowing your, your buddies out of the sky. Like, have you ever had somebody power on the pits and take you out? All the time. It's not fun, so this is to help avoid that. We've got the OSD, which also displays the um, battery pack voltage, um, how much you've taken out of the battery, and how much flight time you've got into it as well as it allows you to change settings like your, uh, your pit tunes, you know, how it's flying, how quickly it responds to your stick inputs, as well as DYS 2205, 2550 kV motors, coupled with the GemFan um, Triprops 5045, and they're the Master Series, so they're durable, they hold up to tree branches and things pretty darn well. And jumping back to the camera, we did get one cam to ship these with a 2.5 lens, so that's not something you're going to have to worry about right away. Some other features of this drone is it's using an in-house designed F4 flight controller. Our electrical engineer designed this flight controller specifically for the Riot. Um, it's mounted on silicone bobbins, which are also made in-house, and it's mounted with a ribbon cable. So if we upgrade the flight control in the, fu in the future or change out the gyro or something, um, you'll just be able to order that and pop it right in. Um, it's got a full integrated PDB, USB ports right there. So the PDB is tying in the flight controller, the camera, the VTX, you've got your ESC pads right here. So if you need to swap out an arm or swap out a motor or a speed controller, you just do it right here with a soldering iron, just take five minutes. Even for like someone that's new to soldering, soldering on these big old pads, it's gonna be pretty easy. Um, Another cool feature about the PDB is it's got all of the LEDs, 52 LEDs, integrated right into the board. So let's power it up. So, because the side skirts are a clear polycarbonate plastic, the LEDs diffuse through the side skirts. So no matter how you're flying, this thing is visible from any angle. When we're flying, if it's you know, any time of day, you can see this thing anywhere. And the LEDs are programmable, so you can have the different zones be different colors, you can have them flash, you can have them react to your throttle. I think that's probably one of the coolest features about the quad. Yeah, you mentioned um, polycarbonate skirts, that's the same stuff, I think they make like safety glasses. And... Yeah, the skirts are, uh, they're durable. But yeah, the side skirts are definitely, you know, it's like a lot more durable than something that's 3D printed. Yeah, we've got the polycarbonate skirts, we've got the um, gel coated carbon fiber. So it's it's carbon fiber with a, a layer of gel coat applied, which is not like painted on, it's it's done during the process, so it's very durable. Yeah, and we got it we got it gel coated in white because we just thought that I mean it just kind of stands out, it just pops, because all all mini quads are usually just plain carbon fiber. And I had this thing at Drone Worlds in Hawaii and I was just kind of carrying it around. But people would see it and just come up to me because it just like stands out in the crowd. And like you mentioned, your favorite feature, the LEDs and the white um, carbon fiber, probably one of my favorite features as well, the fact that you kind of got a, a open palette to make it any color you want with the LEDs yeah. so you're, you're not stuck. 
you got the white, it, it, um, those LEDs shine off the white through the polycarbonate. Basically, you can customize any, any pilot color. Everybody knows who you are when you're out racing on the track. Yeah, so if you're like, say you and your buddies buy a couple of Riot Pros, one day someone wants to be blue, somebody wants to be green, someone wants to be purple, you can just like change colors on the fly. Um, that's pretty cool. So we're really excited to bring this to the market for, you know, beginners, novices, intermediates, all the way up to advanced. Like Conrad mentioned, it's easy to swap out components, so as technology changes, flight controllers, ESCs, you're not locked into one specific thing. This thing is fully upgradable. Um, it's a matter of popping in a new flight controller if something new comes out that uh, is advancing technology. So and, and how long does it take to build one? It doesn't take long. That's, that was the main um, thought behind the Riot Pro was something that's easy for us to build, replicate. If you're out racing and you basically have three of the same exact same unit and if you're swapping out parts, it's, it's quick to build. It's not like a two, three day project where you're over the weekend dreading to build a, a trim and wires and exactly. Yeah, it takes about 10 minutes to build one. Do keep in mind, I did fly the same frame at Drone Nationals this year and came in fourth place. I mean, so it's fast enough. See you guys. Thanks for watching.